Hey Heidi, how's it going? Good, how are you? So you're here to talk about uh, Project Westside Park, um, a Christmas holiday fundraiser. Could you a little elaborate a little bit more how you came up with this and how you went about doing this this uh, Christmas season? Yeah, well, I, you, <laughs> I actually was thinking of the fact that we don't get to travel and hang out with family and um, maybe we have family members that don't really need a gift. You know, they have everything they need, but we'd like to send them something little to let me uh, let them know we care about them and also uh, give a meaningful gift uh, in their honor. And so I know that when uh, when I'm looking for gifts like that, I've, you know, donated to, um, you know, different nonprofits um, for, you know, to a specific cause and then sent a card letting someone know that they've done that and that's my gift to them for the holiday season. And so I just thought it would be great um, to do the same thing for the West Side Park and um, let people, you know, gift, if you will, a donation to that park to someone they care about. Um, and so we are running a special holiday fundraiser that started on the 1st um, and will go through the 15th where you can donate in honor of someone else. Um, and the minimum donation is $30 um, for a single card. And so I actually have the original of the image that's on the card here. Oh. I don't know if you can see it. Can you bring it up just a little bit more? Just a little bit more? Yeah. Looks really um, nice. And so uh, this is. Who's the? Uh, do we know the artist? So uh, I, I actually made this. Oh great! Um, I didn't. When I came up with it, I didn't have quite enough turnaround time to um, try and find a local artist. Um, I was. I had a couple. I had my hopes on, but um, it was just too short of a turnaround time um, to to recruit someone and then figure out the details and figure out how to pay them because um, I think artists should be compensated for their work. Um, yeah, so I came up with this image. Um, it's a paper cut of, um, I'll just hold it up again. Um, two kids playing in the park. Um, and there's it's a Missoula, so you gotta have a dog. Right, so you have to have a dog. Kids playing in the snow and bright colorful houses in the background. Um, yeah, and so this, we have a limited edition of cards that are being printed. Um, so we have a hundred of them available um, and uh, yeah, so it's thirty dollars um, if you're just, you know, wanting to send one card to someone um, in their honor, um, up to four. And once you, uh, you know, if you want to send multiple cards, if you want to send four or five, then the d minimum donation cost drops to um, twenty-five per card. Nice. Yeah, and so that that will cover the cost of actually putting, you know, mailing the card, printing it, and then about. Um, you know, $25 per card goes directly to the park. Nice. So uh, this is a donation just for the Westside Park, am I right? Yeah, so it gets um, the NMCDC, North Missoula Community Development Corporation, is a nonprofit sponsor on this card. And so the donation will actually go through the NMCDC, but you can donate at projectwestsidepark.com. So it has its own website. It's super easy to track on my end. Um, and everything goes to this park. So, cool. yeah, and I should say the other, it's a really big community effort. So, uh, Missoula City Parks and Recreation is involved, of course. Um, Missoula County Public Schools is involved. Trees for Missoula is also a very active partner and has done a really amazing job um, and actually produced a little video fundraiser uh, or a video about this effort and. Um, you know, just describing the importance of parks and play um, to the health and well-being of children um, and the community overall. Parks are important for grown-ups too. So, <laughs> so the money that goes that is going into this park. Uh, what are some of the uh, plans for the park as the money comes in? So, uh, phase one is actually under construction right now. Um, so, this is a really big redevelopment of Westside Park. Um, it's attached to Lowell School. Um, and it's in the West Side neighborhood. And Lowell, you know, serves pretty much all of the North Side, all of the West Side. Um, and our neighborhood has seen a lot of growth. Um, we have a lot of new buildings going in. Um, we have a lot of affordable housing units coming online in the next couple of years. 
So we're going to see a lot more kids at Lowell. We're going to see a lot more families needing the park. And if you've been by there um, recently, uh, you can tell that the existing playground is, you know, it's just, it's been well loved. It's falling apart. Um, slides have been removed. Like different features have been, there's Sylvan, um, have been removed. Um, and it's, it's just in need of reinvest it, reinvestment and um, yeah, some love. Uh, and right now, uh, the preschool playground is under construction. Um, so there, there will actually be a separate area for preschoolers to play so that they can play even when Lowell School's in session. And then there's going to be a separate school age playground. Um, and it has a lot of, you know, improvements from the existing structure. So it's going to be more accessible so kids of all abilities can play on this playground together. Um, and it'll also have um, SEPTED features so that we can actually, teachers can see where the kids are, parents can see the kids, there aren't as many nooks and crannies to hide. Um, <laughs> Did you hear my kid? Yes. <laughs> he <laughs> likes the hiding, fe hiding features. Um, but it has, uh, it's about 40% bigger than the playground that's there now. And you can, uh, there's a lot of really cool climbing features. Um, and a really, like, amazing slide. I don't know. It's a really cool park. Oh, yeah. There's, uh, like, <laughs> even I remember thinking back to a lot of my old playgrounds back in the day. You know, there was uh, death traps um, from what I remember get scars, get bruises, and all that stuff. Just like, that was like a badge of honor when you were a kid back in those days, for sure. Because I broke my wrist, um, not necessarily going down the, the slide, but actually just jumping off the slide and like doing a flip. And so it was like, and it, 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 it was very like, not cool at all. Cool way to break your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think, you know, our standards have changed a lot for, for playgrounds and um, parks. Yeah, it's it's a really exciting project. Well, I well, uh, so let's uh, tell the people uh, where they can donate and where they can find out more information about this once again. Yeah, the easiest thing to do is just to go to projectwestsidepark.com. It's um, there's information about it right on the homepage. Um, if you click um, give the gift of play, um, there's a, a link on the main page, and you can just go directly to the donation page, which also has instructions on how. You know how to get me the information I need to send someone a card um, and if you want to customize it and add a special note um, you know just let me know and you can always email me directly um, that's just uh, also available on the website um, but it's adelheit.west at gmail awesome so. well thanks Heidi I really appreciate it for you for coming on <laughs> oh well thanks for having me so that was Heidi West, and here's a video that kind of um, expands upon uh, the West Riverside Park um, in association with the nonprofit Trees for Missoula. So check this out. Anyone? absolutely essential. Play is essential for students to learn and in school we require our students to collaborate because collaboration has a huge effect size on learning and if you can't play you can't collaborate. So a playground is just as essential as books to an elementary school and a safe playground is absolutely one of the most important things that I can guarantee a family and students as a principal. Play creates the building blocks to society in a young age. It's where kids learn social skills. It's where they learn critical problem solving. It's where they learn how to get along with each other. It's where they learn crisis management. It all happens on a playground. And so these spaces that facilitate that type of socio and emotional learning within kids are vital to create the next generation of community members that know how to interact with each other and solve problems. That's all happens at play. important 
important for kids to have safe places to play other than just their house and their yard to help um, build independence and autonomy and give them an opportunity to socialize and play with kids other than just their immediate neighbors or even friends who they would invite over to their house. The right built environment can foster those skills at a greater level than, than anything before. You know, and it can be as fundamental as just like an open space in a field or as something as amazing as a play structure where kids can use their imagination and engage in active play that's not facilitated by anything else or anyone else but them and their peers. So there are numerous studies that show after students come in from recess that their academic achievement increases. It's just an essential part also for developing their gross motor skills, um, building their endurance, and many things that lead to a healthy lifestyle happen on the playground. Parks and playgrounds are very important for the north side, west side because we have a very high number of really people that are low income, generational poverty, so that means they've been in poverty for 30 years or more. Because of the socioeconomic diversity of this neighborhood, free, open, accessible places to celebrate and be as a family and play as a child as a safe place is even more vital. My older son is on the spectrum. And so for him, something that he really developed going to Lowell was learning a lot of social skills and how to interact with others. Seeing him be able to do that on the playground and really utilize those skills that his team had you know, worked so hard with him to teach him those skills was really just, you know, like hits you in the heart. The existing Westside Park playground was constructed in 1998. And it's a really unique structure in that it was built by the neighborhood, by a group of volunteers that lived here. They did all the fundraising and they actually put in their blood, sweat and tears to build this playground. And what we're dealing with is, is, is an old playground. We really are. So the life expectancy of this playground is about 20 years and we've exceeded that. And it's a mostly wood structure, and so if you think about wood in the Montana climate, it's not going to last forever, and it's starting to degrade, and so that's why it's in need of replacement. We love Lowell Park, and we, I love the idea that there's going to be a new, beautiful, wonderful park for my family to play in and for all of our friends. So the new playground is going to consist of modern play equipment. The life expectancy is more like 30 years, and so it's a really good investment and a good value. And the new playground will have five different play zones. And so each zone is unique in the sense that it offers different types of play experiences for the kids. And so one of the playground zones is called Lowell Mountain. And so we're going to use rubberized safety surfacing to create topography in the playground. And just the topography itself actually creates kind of a play feature. It's a place for kids to run up and down and tumble down the hill. But on top of that, we're going to put a giant tower on top of the mountain. And we'll have a big slide that comes all the way down from the top down to the base of the mountain. So kids will get the sense that they're on top of the world and they can slide all the way down. This neighborhood is really um, a neighborhood that uses parks. And so a lot of the kids in our neighborhood don't necessarily do camps or do a lot of other out of neighborhood activities. So this park is really an anchor always for our neighborhood and all the kids here. The park will help students become better students. They'll have the opportunity to take a break from their, their studies and come have fun, rejuvenate, 
and go back to their classroom with a clear mind. We helped build this playground when I was still in the school district, so it was, it, I remember how exciting it was getting brand new play